When it comes to treating atrial fibrillation, there is one technique that cardiologists often turn to in an effort to get your heart back into rhythm. We find out more in today's Health Matters. Musicians use it, dancers use it, even your heart uses it. Rhythm. For those with atrial fibrillation, heart rhythms can get way out of whack. Very common in cardiac patients. Uh, in many patients as they get older, into their 70s or 80s, about 10% of people have it, even if there are no other cardiac conditions. Getting the heart back into a rhythm is key to keeping blood and oxygen flowing through the body without interruption. For many patients, just giving them medicines to make sure the heart rate's not going too fast is one option. That's called a rate control strategy. Certain conditions may require resetting the heart's rhythms. Dr. Tashner says this is when cardioversion may be necessary. Essentially what the cardioversion is, there is an electrical cardioversion where we actually bring the patients over to the hospital and apply electricity to the heart to basically reset the pacemaker cells of the heart. And that's not the only way. There is also a chemical cardioversion where we use certain medications to restore normal sinus rhythm. Since the heart's rhythm is reset, the efforts are now placed on keeping the rhythm regular. If we decide to cardiovert them because they are symptomatic, oftentimes those patients will need medications to help keep them in a normal rhythm and prevent a recurrence of the atrial fibrillation. In these cases, the goal is to slow the heart rate and reset it between 60 and 100 beats per minute. Reporting for Lee Memorial Health System, I'm John Bafar.